just made this chicken chat chicken tikka chat pudding absolutely banging guys this is absolutely amazing in the restaurant style so crack on enjoy the video and i'll see you in the next one hey guys it's babble from the bengali cook how are you guys how you doing hope everyone's well guys this week i have got a fantastic recipe for you and it has been requested and um, yes I'm, so i'm doing this one i have got other um, requests i need to do so I'll, I'll crack on with them now um obviously this week i had a bit of a saga with the um, pan so i've gone back to like the old pan so that's great the other one i had to bin it but i've also got a new pan check it out this is i love this one is aesthetically a lot better it looks nice and so forth i'm going to try and do some dishes using uh, that dish one other dish the the saucepan uh but yeah having said that guys i am going to be cooking chicken tikka um sorry chicken chat puri uh which is going to be with the tikka chicken tikka so chicken tikka chat puri um and yeah so what i've got here so i'm going to cook it fresh because i'm making the puri you need a tiny bit of base gravy um and due to that i've not cooked any base gravy for this week's video um, so i'm just going to be using the uh, bit of water to make the sauce as we go so what you would need uh, i've done some pre-prep so we're not using a lot of time on this one so this is um chapati dough so i've got some chapati flour and i've made that into a dough so i'm going to use that for my puri i've got one onion finely chopped with about 140 grams i've got some cucumber some tomatoes that i'm going to be using later on and again i'm just going to go with the um, tomato paste ginger garlic and the start on this one's going it's going to be the shan what's it on there it is chat masala that, that's what we're going to be using let's put that back in there and the other thing that i've pre-cooked is on the air fryer so i've got some chicken tikka that i've just cooked the chicken tikka was has been marinated about 48 hours it is roughly about about 48 hours um and i'm going to make the puri in in this pan as well so yeah, so let's get ready. Let's crack on. So today's video is going to be chicken tikka chat puri. Um, it's one of the starters you get in the Indian restaurants. So I'll be cooking that now. And what I'll do actually, i just move some of these across on this side. As with everything, guys, you are going to get the ingredients um, listed in the description box. So hit that box below. Check it all out. Um, and of course, guys, uh, many thanks for the little treats that you've been giving me. It's amazing. Thank you so much. And um, as well as the support, please continue to support the channel. Share, like, comment, all of that sort of stuff, guys. Which should be absolutely amazing. Oh, another thing we'll need, we'll need our, my BRI mix. BIR mix curry powder. And I might use some chilli chili sauce, uh, chilli powder to go with it as well. I'm going to be making two portions of it. There we go. Let's just get that turned on. There we go. Does that look a bit better? Yeah. That does indeed. Right, so let's crack on with it. So, yeah. So, how have you guys been? Uh, yeah, try. thank you so much as well, guys, for the tips on the... How to get the lid off the saucepan. Tried all of it, guys. Tried to heat up the pan massively. That didn't work as well as to put water water in there as well uh that didn't work either unfortunately so it's gone in the bin so i've got the, i'm going to go back to using the old one for now until i get um, a replacement i might get the same one again uh, but i have got this one so i'm going to try and make some curries on this on this using this pan it's a nice pan hopefully that will work well but there we go um so chicken chat put it coming your way so let's make the chicken chat first of all so Crack on, get the got a timer on. Oil, so good. About say about three to four tablespoons of oil. I'll leave, leave that here actually because I'm going to use that in a bit to go here. Again, I'll try and do this unedited. Hopefully, it won't, it won't take too long. But when I'm making the chapatis and that, guys, I will probably just um, edit those bits out, just so you do. I'm also, actually, I've not shown on this video. I've not shown how to make the chapati dough. I have, I have made a video 
a while ago on how to make the chapati dough and how to make the chapati and so forth. So what I'm going to do is put a link of that video um, in the description box. Um, so this video isn't like super, super lengthy. Uh, but yeah, go ahead and check that one out. And then that'll be absolutely fine. So again, as we're cooking at home, guys, if there's any additional spices you want to use, by all means, use. So I'm going to, I'm just going to quickly try and find some. Perfect. So yeah, so what we're going to start off doing is, I say perfect, don't think there's any more. So we're going to put a good pinch or two of cumin seeds in there. Get it back there. There we go. Cumin seeds will just give it a nice little flavour when you sort of bite into it as well. Right, I'm going to get the heat slightly back up. Just going to wait for this just to, there we go, sizzle a bit. Get closer to you. So I've probably got a bit more oil than I anticipated, but it's okay because we can already just um, remove them at the end. So, what's your favourite starter then, guys? At the Indian restaurants, um, chicken chat for it is is a good one. It is nice. So let's crack on. There we go. Right, so it's pretty cool. I'm going to add the onion in first of all because I don't want the ginger and garlic to splash over there. Good teaspoon of ginger garlic paste. So I added the onion first of all just to calm the, the oil down a bit because it would be a bit too hot and I didn't, I didn't want the ginger garlic just to like it go all over the place. Then I've got more cleaning to do, which isn't always a good idea. Well, it's a good idea to clean, but not make the mess right. There we go. So I'm going to go with a, literally like a pinch of salt. I'll say a pinch, so we go. Again, you add salt to your taste. So the only thing I need salt on is just for the onions, uh, because our chicken teeth has got salt. The chat masala, that's also has got salt in it as well. So it's pretty cool, we don't need too much of it. What we're looking to do now, guys, is caramelize the onion. So the recipe that I'm showing you here, the chicken chat curry recipe. Now, if you want to use other um, proteins, so I don't know, like um, any, like you can use veg, you can use Chana, you can use uh, chickpeas. Um, you can basically you can replace the chicken with anything else that you want to. You can also put lamb in there if you want to, the pre-cooked lamb, things like that. You can add it in there. So this is how we make it. We, the only difference is I won't be using the base gravy on this one, so I'm cooking it from scratch. If you have got some base gravy um, at home, you can use that. Absolutely, by all means. So whenever I add water in, you would just add the base grain there. Getting the 
Where's that heat sock? Let's take a couple of heat sock. Chicken tikka might be ever, yeah? So I'm using thighs, so these are chicken thighs that I'm using for the chicken tikka pieces. I do find that the thighs do taste better. Mm -hmm. These are not. Let's use this one. Wait. Let's see if I was ever It's all going down. So at this point, I'm going to add our tomato paste. So again, we're going to cook it from scratch. I haven't got much time. So there you go, good. You bet, actually. So one and a half. Of it. Turn it in. going to add a tiny bit of hot water to help. Look at these fine, look at them, look at these pieces, absolutely delicious. I have got the recipe in my um, in, in my book, in my barbecue book, but I've also put the recipe in the description box as well, guys. So you can check that out and you can make the chicken tikka. You can make the chicken tikka using the recipe. If you have bought the book, book guys, thank you so much. Um, if you did like, if you did like the recipes, guys, uh, please do leave a, a five star review. That'd be absolutely be amazing. Because that would help the the algorithm for Amazon. So again, just roughly, roughly chop the pieces into bite sizes. There we go. That's looking great. I'm just going to reposition the camera. Now the camera's absolutely fine. So what we're going to do now, guys, is crack on and add our spices. So I'm going to add one teaspoon of that's that teaspoon and a half of my mixed powder. So this is the Indian restaurant mixed powder. Again, if you haven't got that, you can use the shop bought one, but I do recommend you use the spice um, the spice mix of mine. Um, I'll put a I've done a video of it, so I'll put that in the description box. You can see that it's beginning to catch on the pan. So what you do at this point is add some base gravy in there. Now optional, if you want to add any chili powder, you can do. So I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of chili powder. There we go. Literally like a quarter, quarter teaspoon or less. Because I have got some green chili that I'll be using. Right, so all we're going to do now, guys, is get this spice cooked well. A couple of minutes or so should do. And make the base base settled. So 
we're making the chat base now chat pulley base basically so the curry base if we're going to call it but as we're doing that i am going to munch on the chicken tikka mm. absolutely delicious guys Now, add in some of our nuts that we've already got. Get all of this cooked in. Let this cook now. Cook down. And this is the sort of base of our chicken shack guys. It's fairly straightforward to make. So I am going to add a tiny bit more water because I'm going to need a bit of time to make the chad puri and so forth. So I don't want it to dry, dry out too much when I'm doing that. this point if you want to add any green chilies you can do so that's what i'm doing so i've got about three to four green chilies um cut in here so i'm just going to add this now and then i'm also going to add so just before we take it off i'm going to add a good teaspoon of shan's chaps masala as well as the 140 grams I've got, the 140 grams of cucumber and a couple of tomatoes. Well, actually, that's one tomato. Get all of this mixed in. Just a tiny bit more water in there. chicken chat done guys now that smells top notch well so let's meet this one here. Here we go. keep it nice and clean this one so what i'm going to do now here guys i'm just going to pause the video and then come back so i'm going to put some oil in here and i'm going to sort of roll out roll, roll these out and um, then we'll continue i'll come and show you how to make the puri and then we just plate it up and we eat Right, let's pause this one for a second. 
So it's been 15 minutes, we've been on the video, taking us about 15 minutes to make the chicken chat from scratch. And now I'm just gonna make the pudding. So I'm gonna pause it now and come back in, well, as soon as I've rolled these out. Okay, guys, so welcome back. So this is the second part of the video. So let's put this one back on. There we go, we were 15 minutes last time. And I've got the oil, I've got my sort of pouring here all rolled out. So try and make it thin as, as you can, which will be absolutely fine. So how do we know the oil is hot enough? So let's just take, let's just take some currently, just a tiny piece, chuck it in there. What you want, what is it you want? You ideally want to deep fry this guy, it's not shallow fry, but I have got enough oil in here. Hopefully that should work, but normally you would deep fry it. I don't want to waste a lot of oil because I don't have any other plans to make or deep fry anything. Actually, I might do actually, but, um, but for now, that's all I've got. So yes, it seems all right. So let's give it another minute or so maybe. Let's just see. So we're gonna use the pudding. So yeah, so if you are enjoying this video, guys, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe button if you haven't. Um, give it a thumbs up, comment, let us know what you think. Um, share it with your friends, family, Facebook, all of your social medias. Share it on there. Right, I'm going to give it a go, guys. I think it should be high enough. So just gently, just put it down. Yeah, this is good. You see it? Yes, you can. Give me something there. Just gonna turn it over. Well, we're gonna look at that, nice and crispy. That's what you want. It doesn't take too long to make the pudding. So you're going for like a thin. Don't make your uh, when you do when you roll it out. Don't make it too thick, guys. What we're gonna do now is just get this out. Just gonna leave it here for a second. Gonna get this one, get this one in. Again, gently, just put it in there. Again. Oh, do you know what? I forgot to put the timer back on, guys. Sorry. But as you see, it's like this part's not been edited. Just follow it. It doesn't take that long. As long as the oil is warm enough. It's all done. So you want it to be nice and crispy, but not too crispy. You also want it to be slightly soft as well, not too crunchy. But you do want a bit of a crunch in on that as well. Well, right, literally, that's it, done. Alma, whoops. Gentle. <laughs> right, so it's not taking us that long, probably less than a minute just to fry them each. So, right. What I was going to do as well, just in case, just want to see if there's any excess. Yeah, absolutely fine. So, again, so place it up how, how you want it. So, I'm going to go with this. This one back here. Let's just try and organize this. Right, so I'm just going to place it up normally as we normally would do. Okay, fantastic. So that's our pudding there. You can see it, guys. Look at it. Okay, lovely. So I've got two portions here. So this is my chat. So there you go. You see, it's quite. That'll be, be a good one. So now here we go. So the magic of, if you want to add any other salad dressing guys, feel free to add the salad dressing. I'm just going to add a bit of coriander here. So at the restaurants, what you will get, you will get that folded up. You probably get like a smaller, a lot smaller portion in all fairness. And you get all the salad and all of that in here. But I've got it here for you, so check it out. So yeah, so enjoy the recipe. So a chicken chat is, chicken chat put is done. 
um, add all the different types of garnish that you want guys any other sauces and so forth and enjoy um, hopefully you've liked the video um, don't forget to hit that like subscribe button as well as guys please continue to support the channel as you were doing and i am looking forward to uh tucking into this but yeah other than that guys if you guys have any other requests so thank you for requesting uh the chat puri um, again like i said guys you can use other than chicken you can use and if anything else that you want to, some chickpeas, some prawn, prawn, prawn puree you can also make as well, some vegetables, some lamb, whatever else you want to put in there, in there. but this will be the standard. The main ingredients that gives it the chat flavour is going to be this one. And again, if you want to, just like now, again, you can just, if that's okay, you can just sprinkle just a tiny bit so you get that little flavour coming out as well as when you bite it. But yeah, right, I'm going to have to... Leave you guys now, so love you, and I'll leave I'll leave you now. So take care and enjoy the video, and I will see you very soon on the next video. Check it out.